So one of the things that we're going to do today, we're down here on the second level at 140 feet. And our mucker, we have a really tight spot here where we have some bedrock that makes it tough for us to walk by the mucker as it's moving. And it's kind of a tight spot. So one of the things we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the capabilities of the Sierra Blaster. I met Dana at the AMRA show last weekend up in Auburn and I've been interested in the Sierra Blaster for a while and I think this will be a really great demonstration of the ease of its capabilities rather than us dragging in one inch airline our regular jack leg dynamite you know we're gonna be able to do this with we think three blasting heads we're gonna put three in to start with and try and knock this chunk of rock off give you an idea of the size of it put my foot on it so you can see there's my foot so this chunk of rock is about 12 inches thick by about three and a half feet long we're gonna put three holes in it we're gonna film it I'm actually gonna put a little disposable GoPro right in the blast zone as well so we're gonna blow a camera up at the same time and uh, give you guys an idea of what the CR blaster can do we know that it's really going to increase our productivity and our capabilities here underground rather than hauling big heavy equipment around we basically have a Bosch drill and a power cord Got it? Yep. Alright, probably right about there, oh, that's fractured. Alright, so that's good for the holes. We will go ahead and start setting the heads and stuff. I'm not going to show you the whole process. So as you can see, we have three heads in place. We have it tethered. We have the heads tethered for when the rock breaks loose. One of the things I'm going to do that might be kind of fun is I'm going to set up a camera right next to the blast zone. I'm going to set up a little GoPro type Vivitar. So let's get that thing turned on. This is all for the sake of cinematography. <clears throat> It's actually pretty good. I got it set right on the actual blast head itself. So, are you hooked up? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. All right. So we're gonna see if it really did much here. We're gonna see if we can scale that piece off. Oh, hang on. Let me pull that hose out of there, cause. Collapsed. It actually did pop it right down there.
doesn't look like the booster charge went off. Well, definitely popped it. So, this could have taken a lot longer than that to just, you know, you can definitely see that it fractured it. That was a little better. All right, so now we're talking. I think the problem that we had before is I didn't have heavy enough rocks on there. But dude, that is stunning. Look how far back it fractured. Well, what do you think now? Let's do those rocks. Yeah. I think that's good enough there. Yeah, totally. Like, look at that. That is some hard-ass rock, man. It took it out right down to where we drilled. That blew that sucker right off. And this rock is hard, hard, hard. That's awesome. part of what we're dealing with now is we have these quite large chunks of rock that came off from our blasting there's that one this one here and this one it's about 18 or 20 inches across we want to do three more shots here and reduce these in size gives you an idea of it it's over a foot thick so I'm gonna reduce these ones So as you can see here, this first rock split it nice and evenly into four beautiful pieces. See how cool that is? This one split into two, three, four pieces as well. I'd say that's a misfire. Well, it threw the rock off. Oh, it did throw the rock off. So that, what it probably did is it blew out the bottom. Actually, you can see here, it fractured it. Yeah, I think you're right, it blew the bottom off. Because it definitely went off. Blew the bottom out. So we'll have to pop this one another, another time right in the thick spot right here. Alright, so I've got... A little Vivitar camera right next to the blast zone. Even my phone here, as Trent and I say, this rock is about to have a very bad day. Hope my phone survives this. It's only about 20 feet away, but I think it'll be all right. All right, let me back up. You can do the honors.
my god. You wait till you see this. This is live footage. Dude. What do you think, amigo? Looks good.